the Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last year, the Premier met with Jean Charest to discuss the priorities of the Aerospace Industries Association of Canada. Mr. Charest is registered as a lobbyist with the aerospace industry in Ottawa, but not in Nova Scotia, although, in fact, that is required under Nova Scotia law. And asked about this by the media, the Premier said it was, and I quote and I'll table this, it was not his job to determine whether or not those he meets are following the lobbying laws of Nova Scotia. I want to ask the Premier if it's not his job to insist on a high level of ethical conduct in the government, then who in the world's job is it? The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, uh, I want to thank the Honourable for the question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if someone is a lobbyist registered, Mr. Speaker, it is up to that individual to register with the lobbyist uh, here in the province of Nova Scotia. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, the Premier's response was also reflected in a response he gave to a reporter asking about this same subject when he said, I don't ask people who come for meetings whether they are registered or not. This response sounds an awful lot to me like, I don't care. And it appears to lots of people that the Premier thinks that he's above these rules. But as Premier, he is not above the rules. And I want to ask the Premier to clarify his understanding of whether or not the lobbying laws do, in fact, apply to him. The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, I, Mr. Speaker, I'm not a lobbyist, Mr. Speaker. The law is very stiff forward that if you're a lobbyist, you register. The individual does. And I want to tell the Honourable Member, I met with many former Premiers and Prime Ministers uh, over various times over the last six years and before, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I will continue to meet with anyone who has had the privilege to be, hold elected office in this country and lead a particular province or a national party. Uh, former Prime Minister Mulroney has been very supportive of this province when it comes to ensuring that we continue to work with the United States. Mr. Kretchen has been very helpful, Mr. Speaker, when it goes into, the United, in, into Asia. We've been working with them. And former Premiers all across this country communicated with me at different times, talked to me about different things, Mr. Speaker, and I will continue to work with them because all of them, to a person, all of them to a person want to see the Federation do well, they want to see it strong, and they reach out and they support individual provinces when they can. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, the, the Premier is in fact providing evidence of the extent to which this is not an isolated incident. In the case of Jean Chrétien lobbying the Premier over a port development, the Premier not only overlooked the lack of his lobbyist registration, he even denied that he was being lobbied at all. Now, Part of the responsibility of a Premier, Mr. Speaker, as we see it, is to be exemplary in honouring all the laws of the province, including the lobbying laws. I want to ask the Premier if he intends to honour the lobbying laws, to honour the lobbying laws of Nova Scotia in the future. The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, as always, Mr. Speaker, I communicate to all Nova Scotians, Mr. Speaker, the laws are there for all of us to follow, Mr. Speaker, and anyone who's a lobbyist should register. 